안녕하십니까 니콜라스입니다 and the framework I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind this is a framework that takes your python code and generates a fully functional interactive web application powered by react and next.js imagine going from having to learn javascript react and next.js to instead just learning python to use a framework that generates the javascript react and next.js code for you the name of the framework is pinecorn and i have prepared a couple of tiny demos to show you how it works after importing pinecorn we create a function that is going to build our home page we're going to build the ui using some of the many pre-made pinecorn components we are going to use the center component to put things in the center we're going to use a heading component to create a big text that says click we're going to use an h tag or horizontal stack to put a button next to a text next to another button as you can also see we are adding css styles as well using python keyword arguments then all we have to do is create a pinecon app add the page and compile it after we save our code and run our app from the console pinecon will generate a next.js application that will show us the ui we just implemented that is already cool we are building a react ui using only python as you can see our app does not do anything let's fix that by adding a state to our app let's create a class called state which is going to hold a counter keeping track of the clicks and it will have two methods that will increase or decrease the total clicks now we can connect our ui with the state by displaying the number of clicks in the state and by telling our buttons what to do when they are clicked and last but not least let's connect the state with our app and go back to our browser to a fully interactive application so what do you think? Isn't it cool to be able to generate a Next.js app using only Python code? I think it is. Under the hood, Pinecone is doing a lot of cool things. It takes the functions we used like PC heading and PC button, turns them into React components, and then builds the pages using Next.js. To make the default components look nice, Pinecone is actually using the beautiful Chakra UI library under the hood. Along with the Next.js app, Pinecone also generates a fast API Python Python server on the background and it is on the server where the state of the application lives pinecon handles all the communication between the next.js app and the fast api server as well this means that if you're using some python package for api data science or whatever you can use it on pinecon and it will run on a fast api backend let's finish up by building a dog viewer app after importing pinecon i also want to import requests a pure python package after inside of a state class i define two properties an image url string and a fetching boolean that will tell us if we are fetching from the api or not inside of our state we will add two methods one to set fetching to true and the other one to send a request to an api that is going to give us a random dog photo the ui code is very easy to understand we create a heading inside of a vertical stack and a button which as you can see will call the two methods in our state when it's clicked then we use the pc cond component to display something if a condition is met here we are saying that only if the state fetching is true we want to show a loading indicator and here we are saying that if the image url in our state isn't empty then we want to show the image using the pc image component back on our browser as you can see it all works great the loader indicator shows up and the random doggy image is shown super super cool pinecone is very young and we have to see what it becomes but personally i really like the idea and how the api feels building the ui with pinecone feels more like working with flutter rather than react.js pinecone is basically an abstraction a layer on top of the chaos of react and next.js it's an interface i don't think html css javascript react are ever going to be no. replaced but i find it really interesting to think how maybe in the future we are not going to be directly right in javascript and react code and instead we might use an interface like pinecone and less scary looking
using programming languages like Python to generate that JavaScript and React.js code. I am very curious to know what you think about Pinecone, so please write down your thoughts on the comment section below. I personally like the idea and I'm happy to know that there are people working on how to make me more productive as a developer. But on the other hand, I think that JavaScript, React and Next.js aren't that hard to learn. So maybe we shouldn't put so much effort into replacing them and we can just learn them and be done with it. In talking about learning JavaScript, React, Python and Next.js, did you know that you can learn them for absolutely free? Click the link below right now to enroll in any of our many free courses. We not only have JavaScript, React, Python, and Next.js, we also have Redux, GraphQL, Golang, Dart, Flutter, among many others for free. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onudo, kamsa hago, sanan hago, daume wayo, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.